I have this unfinished garden and welcome sign. They both came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to remove the jute hanger from the top. I'm then going to take some chalked Rust-Oleum spray paint in chalky white. And I'm going to spray paint the letters. Of course, you could just paint them regularly with a paintbrush. I wanted my base coat to be white, so I just thought it would be easier just to spray paint it all. Once that dried, I then took a paintbrush and a very small amount of paint, and I'm going to dry brush onto the detail on each of the signs. The garden sign had this little watering can and a little bird. I painted those in Wise Owl Chocolate and Higgins Lake. And the welcome sign has a pitchfork and a little plant, and you could see that the L is in the shape of a boot. And I'm also going to dry brush some chocolate onto those, and then the Joshua tree onto the plant. Now you could pick any colors of your choice. Paint products can be found over at chocolateoffancy.com. I have this board, and I'm going to take my General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain and a foam gen brush. You could find these at the hardware store. And I'm going to apply stain to the entire board. And then I just rub it in with a napkin or a paper towel. I have these letters. These come from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to spell to my. And I'm going to spray paint them as well so that they match the other two signs. Once everything is dry, I'm going to place them down and I'm moving them more toward the left so that we have a little area on the right that is still open. Once I had a plan and I was happy where everything was placed, I'm just going to glue everything down. I am using some hot glue for this. You want to put a decent amount on for a good hold. You can also use E6000 or a wood glue. I put the garden on the bottom and the welcome on the top. And then after those two were placed down, I then took the two and the my, and I glued them in place. I'm going to dry brush a little bit of goldenrod onto the two and the my. I kind of want to give everything a little bit of a distressed look. You can go with more detail by adding more color to these signs, it really comes down to your style and what's going to match your decor. And then I went up to the welcome and I dry brushed onto that as well. I decided to go in with a little bit of Bowie, which is like a navy blue. And I added that to the watering can and also to the flower pot. I found this metal thermometer. It came from the Dollar Tree. I love the design on it. It had a beehive and some bees and some flowers. And I'm going to take some E6000 and add it to the back of the metal thermometer. And then I'm going to place it on the right side of all the words that we placed down onto the board. I added a small little bow to the top. There was a small little circle for the hanger. And there you go. Now we have this welcome to my garden door sign. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, mesh stencils, and wood cutouts can all be found at chocolateoffancy.com. Have a great day.